Okay, high stakes showdown as Republican candidates face their second big debate tomorrow night. All eyes, of course, will be on the man on the left-hand side of the screen and also Dr. Ben Carson on the right as they lead the polls as we head into tomorrow's primetime event. Boy, there's such different different people mm -hmm. in manner and style, to be sure. Welcome, everybody. Brand new hour now of America's Newsroom. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hemmer. Good morning. One day before the next big debate and a brand new poll showing Dr. Ben Carson rocketing his way into Donald Trump's orbit. Trump and Carson now just four points apart among Republican primary voters, 27, 23 percent. That's within the margin of error. Front runner Donald Trump talking about his rivals and their polling numbers at a huge rally he had last night in Dallas, Texas. Carly's giving me a little bit of a hard time, even though her poll numbers are horrible. She's the one. She was another one. She's surging. Ben is everybody's surging but me. Hillary's not surging, I tell you that. They're not saying that. He had 20,000 in Dallas. Chief political correspondent Carl Cameron's waiting for him in Los Angeles this morning. Uh, he's going to be on board the USS Iowa later today. And he's using the battleship to talk about military issues. How specific will he get, Carl? Well, the campaign isn't really saying. Uh, Trump aides are quick to say that Mr. Trump says what he wants to say, and it's mostly off the cuff and often extemporaneous, and they're not going to predict. But... He is coming here. The event is going to be on the deck of the USS Iowa, uh, and it's sponsored by a conservative super PAC, a veterans group. And he has been talking about military issues. In fact, he got tripped up in an interview a couple of weeks ago on foreign policy and, and military type issues. And he says he'll do the military better than anybody. So that's a big part of what he'll be doing tonight. And it serves really as his preparation for the debate. He'll certainly try to make reference to his appearance here tonight at tomorrow's debate at the Reagan Library. Uh, he was also last night in Dallas going after his fellow outsiders. You heard him talk a little bit there about Carly. Ben Carson having pulled into a statistical tie with Donald Trump is not going unnoticed in the Trump world. And Donald talked about that last night, making the point that no matter how well Ben's doing, he, Trump, thinks he's doing better. Listen. Ben Carson, good guy. I think he's 11 or 12. And they're saying, Carson, here's the headline, Carson surging. I said, what about me? Where's my name? I'm at 40. Where's my name? It's unbelievable. Well, it's not quite 40. It's 27% in the latest poll from CBS and the New York Times. Uh, ben Carson, soft-spoken neurosurgeon, has had his medical skills and history questioned by Donald Trump and his faith, too. Uh, Carson has gone out of his way to say he didn't mean to insult Trump, but he's not going to get into name-calling battle with Ben Carson. And then there's Carly Fiorina, who will be on the stage tomorrow. Eleven candidates. She's been added. CNN adjusted the rules to allow her in. And it'll really be a, an opportunity for her to fix what she says is one of her big problems, her absence of name recognition. And what she did was take Trump's assault on her looks when he said, look at that face, that face can't be a face of a president. She's turned that into an attack ad, and she's getting a lot of attention for that. Some have already called it the best ad so far of the cycle. So uh, a lot of politics Indeed. to come in the next 24 hours. And obviously Trump's going to be center stage in a lot so of ways. So that's the category of so-called outsiders. What about those who would be considered more establishment, Carl? Uh, yeah, the other eight of 11. Uh, they've all been campaigning longer than Fiorina and Carson and Trump, that all of them have held office in some fashion or another. All of them have experience, and all of them are at 6% or less. Uh, a remarkable sort of bifurcation of the polls, wherein Trump and Carson are effectively getting half, and the rest of the field is down essentially under five. A uh, remarkable tie, and we're going to see tomorrow a lot of elbows as a consequence of that. And we're told the questions are going to pit the candidates against one another, so it will be candidate against candidate barking about their positions. Bill. You got it. Thank you, Carl. Good preview there.